Hi, today we're going to be talking about global learning. Now this is just an introduction to global learning. There's actually a lot that we can learn about it. Today we're just going to do a brief overview and look at building an activity. So in this video, we'll first talk about what global learning is, why you should care, why students will enjoy it, and what can we do. First of all, what is global learning? Um, a little piece of global learning is going on right now. I am talking to you via video for a class. We are not in the same room. Uh, depending on when you watch this video, we may not even be in the same state. But still, I'm able to conduct learning with you. I'm able to help you learn something new. Likewise, many of you have probably uh, used a video chat mechanism to talk to somebody. Um, maybe that person was overseas. Some of you may even have pen pals and you've communicated with those pen pals overseas. Global learning is just kind of a word for learning more about the people of the earth and how, how things work and how we're all interconnected. Um, one of the interesting global learning ideas is the um, wardrobe experiment where you go into your wardrobe where you ask students to look at the tags on the back of their shirts and you see where the clothes are from you know and you're going to get clothes from all over the place uh, similar idea we have everybody has pets where does our pet stuff come from all over the world um, if you think about the story of the classroom guinea pig and that guinea pig came to us through a variety of channels. It didn't come to us directly from, um, I think it was South America. It came to us indirectly. It was South America, then Europe, then the United States. So all of these global connections, we are a very, very interconnected world. And we're becoming more so. It used to be the case that the only way to inexpensively communicate with people across the ocean or overseas was via letters. We could send airmail. Now we can send an email and it's instantly there. Uh, we can maintain connections and make friends at very long distances, but it's important to help students understand cultural differences and what it means to be a global citizen. So why should you care? Um, this helps you when you're teaching to draw connections to the world. Oftentimes we talk about events that have global significance, but we don't draw those connections to the world. We talk about the Civil War, but we don't talk about France and Europe. They had a pretty big role to play. Uh, France and England, rather. They had a pretty big role to play. Um, we talk about the American Revolution again. The French are involved, but we don't talk about them. How can we draw these connections? What kinds of things can we help students understand to help draw the world closer together? We could also increase empathy. Uh, this is the second year that I'm involved in a project at North Potter County School District where a fifth grade class is engaging with students from Taiwan. They start off assuming that either the students are extremely different or very much the same and they discover that there are very intricate similarities and differences. They have different holidays, they have different ideas. These things increase student interest. They make students want to learn more about what's going on, uh, which is part of the reason why students are going to enjoy it. They get to meet new people and discover how they are the same and how they are different. Uh, they get to understand more of the world in which they live. Believe it or not, most students really want to know what's going on around them. Um, if you don't believe me, when a student asks you about something in the news and you dismiss, look at the look on their face. They're going to be grumpy. They want to know what's going on. The world influences them just as much as it influences adults. And finally, because you're an awesome teacher, you integrating this into your lessons and helping students to understand global connections is, is going to help you be an awesome teacher. It's going to help draw connections. It's going to be a great activity. What can we do? Um, you can have a foreign culture day at your school. You can celebrate foreign holidays, because who doesn't love foreign holidays? Contact teachers in foreign countries. 
uh, set up pen pals. So you can even do this exchanging videos, emails, all kinds of different things. You can Skype um, if their time zone overlap permits it. You can visit local places that are globally influenced. And until you start looking for this, you don't notice it. But all kinds of monuments and pieces of architecture and restaurants, all kinds of things are globally influenced, even in the smallest of communities. Which leads me to the final point. Explore your community. What's going on right at home that can help you draw global connections? Anyway, we're going to talk about this more in class. Um, we're going to add some global connections to our lessons. We're going to brainstorm some ideas write up some lessons that include global connections. You've already written at least one lesson. Is there any way that we can draw global connections into this? I look forward to working with you today.